In this problem, we'll be using thermodynamic data obtained from Appendix 2 in your textbook to calculate delta H for the given reaction uh, that shows the reaction of octane, C8H18, with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. And we're given a balanced equation for the reaction. The equation that we'll use to calculate delta H for this reaction or any similar reaction, it looks fairly complicated, but it involves a summation for the products. The capital Greek sigma refers to a summation of a product of terms. The n's in this equation, n sub p and n sub r, are the stoichiometric coefficients used to balance the chemical equation for the products and reactants, respectively. And we can see that we have a summation term for the products minus a similar summation term for the reactants, which corresponds to final state minus initial state for the chemical reaction. The first step is to find all of the values of standard enthalpies of formation that we need for the substances in this reaction. Again, those are obtained from Appendix 2 in your textbook. And those are listed here for octane, C8H18. Oxygen has a standard enthalpy of formation of zero since it's a diatomic gas under standard conditions. Carbon dioxide and liquid water. Be careful, there are different listings for liquid water and gaseous water. This is liquid water in this case. The next thing we'll do is simply carry out the calculations. We have all the data that we need, and we've got a balanced equation that gives us all the stoichiometric coefficients. Be very careful with signs in a calculation like this. It looks pretty simple, but it's very easy to make an error with signs, especially when you have negative quantities that are being subtracted. So be very careful with signs. In this case, the final answer that we get is negative 10,940.2 kilojoules.